What is up guys? Welcome to Surviving Standard. The last time we played Vicious Frenzy Hunter was back in the Witchwood. The combo of Vicious Scalehide and Dire Frenzy was used to sustain our life total for a long grind, eventually winning with Deathstalker Rexar. Our hero Rexar, obviously gone from Standard now, but the hero Zuljin does an amazing job of replacing him because of the interaction between exactly Dire Frenzy and Unleash the Beast, giving us a good chance at filling our deck with 5 mana 8-8 eight, eight rushing monsters. Witchwood Piper makes another appearance this week, grabbing three important minions. Of course, it's going to grab the scale hide for the Dire Frenzy combo, along with Acidic Swamp Ooze, which has never been as good as it is right now. It makes sure you don't lose instantly to Waggle Pick, or it can help curb some of the burst damage from a card like Wrench Caliber. Piper can also grab Venomizer, which completes the second part of the Missile Launcher combo for when you've blinked and all of a sudden you're facing down maybe four Mountain Giants. This deck definitely excels at killing big boys. We got Deadly Shots, Spider Bomb, and the new card, Nine Lives, which I believe is best used most of the time with Spider Bomb, giving you another Deadly Shot and a Spider Bomb in hand. The other big Nine Lives target in the deck is Rotten Apple Bomb, which does represent less tempo, but can definitely help stabilize our life total until we get enough to buff scale hides from Dire Frenzy. This deck can grind out both Control Warrior and Bomb Warrior even through multiple Elysianas because of how good Zuljin is near the end of the game, filling both of our deck and our hand with giant rushing Weaverns. So I'm going to leave you guys with some gameplay. Make sure to tune in tomorrow. The extended video will also be online. Magni! For Cosmodon! Let's the hunt. All right, against Warrior, we kind of want... Um... Probably not Spider Bomb? Maybe. We'll see. I'm going to take the value card in Witchwood Piper, though. So this deck here is called Vicious Frenzy. Um, it's basically like a Control Hunter deck with the end game plan of uh, Dire Frenzy on exactly Scale Hide to make sure we can heal our way through while a deck like this that might be playing a bunch of bombs. The big finisher card is Zuljin. Obviously, against Warrior, he's going to be able to brawl that turn away. But because Zuljin recast uh, Dire Frenzy, we can sort of get a Lysiana effect without actually having to play her. The first card I added was not Rot Apple Bomb, or the last Death Rattle I had was. Um, Come dance to my song. It was uh, the Blast taunt guy the only issue i have with that it's very it's very cool with nine lives because you can get the an aoe like when you want but the problem is the problem with it is that it, it goes off with zuljin with nine lives and that's not what we want right we'd rather get a uh, a heal maybe he is bomb warrior we want to get the max healing out of this probably mm -hmm. but if he is uh, control it doesn't doesn't really matter um it's kind of tempting just to play this and hero power because we get rid of his, some of his armor. Like he might shield slam here. I guess he could have shield slammed. Defend the gate. We're only wanting one trap, um, Emerus. That's not a bad idea. I don't own Emerus, but that's um, honestly not that bad of an idea. Might be a little bit too greedy. I did play this deck off stream. I was able to, um, I was able to beat a control warrior, not a bomb warrior. I haven't tried that deck yet, but I was able to beat a control warrior. He played Elysian and, and uh, Brewmastered it, and he still lost because I, once I Zuljin, I put um, infinite uh, buffed up Weaverns in the deck. Right, the Weaverns when they're uh, when they take a Dire Frenzy buff, they're quite good. They're eight eights with Rush. So I had like eight of them in my deck. But even though he was not going to run out of cards anytime soon. Um, even though he wasn't going to run out of cards. Once they run out of the Omega Assembly cards. Like that's honestly Dr. Boom is really good. But the fact that Dr. Boom works so well with Omega Assembly is kind of what, what is the scary thing honestly. I mean, this might go wrong. He might, he might um, magnetize this, but then we can go like this or something. 
One thing I did notice about Plane Control Warrior is that if you don't do anything, they tend not to do anything either, especially after they become Dr. Boom, because they want to get the value of their rush minions. So they'll just sit around and give you all day. The card we're kind of looking for is Vicious Frenzy, just so we can start doing this, and um... To my side. I guess one of the Weaverns. This de this kind of deck is not too new. I mean, there's a lot of people playing um, nine lives and stuff, but mo it's more it has more of a mech a mech sy synergy. I'm just trying to go real late here with the uh, Dire Frenzy. Like that's the thing. Like this guy, like he doesn't really. Um, doesn't really do anything. I don't really want to do anything either. I should probably play one of these um, when you play something big, just so I have the, uh, the nine lives for it, right? <laughs> okay, well, he's got nothing to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and play a spider bomb. Um, yeah, maybe it's bad, because at the very worst, the very worst it does kill one of these things. It's kind of valuable with that. It's just I have this too, so Maybe he'll play another super color and we just ooze that one too oh, That's pretty good. I'm trading a spider bomb for a warpath. I think that's a good a good uh, Good trade for me warpath pretty powerful, right? Wow, he got some uh, pretty bad ones from his Omega assembly All right dire frenzy one time Portal Hunter I had to give up on. I, I think if we're going to do portals, it's going to have to be in another class. Unfortunately, um, the portal cards really were just the worst the worst cards in that uh, the deck. Uh, we can go ahead and fire this off just to clean them out. Give them like, things like Omega Assembly. Um, I wish I didn't burn my second explosive now for this kind of stuff. I could just play Missile Launcher and not burn the uh, Venomizer. The downside of this is that when he Omega Devastators it or whatever he's going to do to it, um, our Deadly kind of gets blocked by this a little bit. Oh wow, does that work? No. Oh, is that healing? That's not healing. That would have been scary. He thought it might work, I guess. Alright, we need we needed one of those to give us something to do. The last time I did play Control Warrior, which he appears to be, he doesn't look like a Bomb Warrior. The last two cards in my deck were Dire Frenzy, and I still was able to beat him. So even if that is the worst, like, that's the worst case scenario, because we really do want to just start doing this. Zuljin is tempting to play, but we cannot play him basically until we have both Dire Frenzies out because it's just it's just how we beat Elysiana. So I could I could Zeliax this one and Deadly that one if I care. I could wait a turn here. Um. Quickly. I wonder. So I don't want to deal with Omega Devastator, right? I'd rather just hold on to him for the whole game. <laughs> and uh, if we play a 4-5, he just Devastators it and we didn't really do anything. Let's heal for 4. I guess heal for 8, technically, right? Not drawing Urzatron have been unfortunate because I'm running out of mechs to uh, draw. Well, the good news is I guess one draws the other. Yeah, I guess that was only a one out of three. Eh, yeah, that's annoying, actually. Unity, precision, protection. Mm, I don't love that Zelex, but because it does synergize both with Spider Bomb and Venomizer to some extent to kill something big, but. 
Come dance to my song. Well, that helps me get to Dark Frenzy here. We're finally going to draw it maybe one day. We have uh, eight cards left. Pretty good deadly, I imagine, here. If we draw the Dark Frenzy, we, we could save the deadly, I guess. I don't know. Does anyone know if these Control Warrior decks run two Super Colliders? I think they might. I mean, one reason to keep it is because he's going to put Elysiana back in his... He's going to get, a, like, new cards, right? So he might get another weapon there, technically. We could sandbag a little bit for um for this. If I draw the uh, Unleash the Beast, it's a pretty good target for it, too, right? Assuming it doesn't get magnetized, it might, right? I kind of want to ooze now because he can kill, uh, yeah, we're eventually going to work on wild. It's just, uh, I'm a little bit nervous about going to wild if everyone's playing the Dark Sour deck. It's kind of the fun ruiner, I imagine, like Barnes on steroids. What do you guys think? Should I keep the ooze for possible second super collider? Alright, we'll go ahead and do this. Even though I'm kind of, well, you haven't seen Darkest Down in a while in a long time. Alright, well, maybe we'll go into wild. I do, I did give up on the priest deck. I'll talk about that in a sec here. Alright, we're just gonna, I, I don't really want to do this until I can heal with it. Because he's just gonna Omega Devastator me. Uh, I gotta play something, alright? I guess I play Ooze and Spider Bomb. Hmm. No, I want to save that Ooze. I don't want to, yeah. Surprised he's using his weapon though. It almost like he's using it because he does have another one. Because it's such a good way to kill Spider Bomb, right? Should we be keeping this? Um, I don't think so. I mean, I might as well at this point. He, he didn't Harrison Jones it, or he doesn't want to Harrison Jones it. One of the keys to beating this deck is getting a little bit lucky with the Zul'jin. When we uh, when we play Zul'jin, ideally we we get Unleash the Beast and Dire Frenzy it twice. That way, even though he might have a few more cards than me, he's going to eventually get run over by 8-8 uh, eight, eight Rush Minions. Well, what do I play here? I don't want to play that. I mean, I could. I could just play it in Spider- Alright, we'll just play it in Spider- -Man. This is why I think this deck should play Banker and not Brewmaster, because when they Brewmaster, they lose the tempo. The but if they had Banker, it would they would keep the tempo, right? I mean, to be fair here, he doesn't want to play a 7-7 into a Spider Bomb, but... Oh, Banker. All right, so they, they, they did the Banker now. So I guess, well, it's, not even, it's funny that he almost, he almost wishes he had... Um, he almost wishes he had the other one, right? Seems pretty good there, right? Well, is there anything else I could I could, I could magnetize it? But mm. I almost got rid of his armor there, so now he can't shield slam anything. I guess. Ideally, we cast Zul'jin with one of these on the board. That way, guess if the Dire Frenzies get played first. I don't know how that works, actually. It probably messes up, right? If we don't have a beast on the board, the Dire Frenzy might not work. Oh, that's kind of disgusting. Well, I guess he doesn't have room for all those cards, right? All right, let's. Eh, I could just, I could just do that. Actually, I could do this too. 
could save this combo wombo for something scary. Um, which is more valuable? This one's kind of more valuable because we do want to hit it with the Dire Frenzy after Zuljin. Yes, we do this. I can probably afford to take an extra... One question I have to answer is, what do I want to Dire Frenzy if we draw it? Because I have this in my hand, the only way to make this good is to die frenzy it, right? Um, getting these in the deck is really good, though. If possible, we would just want more of those. I have enough heal needed board. Well, I mean, he cleared it anyway, so it didn't matter. That's the thing with this deck is, like, the more you play, like, you just give them more to do. Whether it's, you know, Omega Devastatoring two things or what have you. Dynomaticing you out of existence. So this rover here is, is annoying. It's one of the reasons to hold on to the uh, deadly shot kind of stuff. Alright, this time he didn't get as lucky. This time he did not get as lucky. Wow, he got Vargoth from... He got Vargoth from, what do you call it? Okay, well... We might have to hold on to this because this is kind of scary, right? I cannot let him get two more Omega Devas... Or two more... Uh, Omegas. Now, to be fair, he's played them both. Um, he still has two execute. No, he's an execute. So it's unfortunate he's got the stupid whirlwind with it with an execute out here. Like the shield slam wouldn't have worked. Obviously, Omega Devastator always works, so I can't complain. Too much about the whirlwind because he still hasn't used any omega devastators and he might have four but by now like these two gifted cards might be omega devastators Unity, precision, perfection. i like that he's giving them something to rush into though I mean, I could, could, I could use this weapon, ooze him. So the reason to do that is that if this is undamaged, well, it's just gonna die to something. So what is this weapons project? This is the second one. He might still have super collider. If I knew his list. He could have he could easily have Harrison Jones, but it's like I don't think I care that much about that. Alright, it's a little bit important that we um Here comes a big We dire frenzy something here, right? Alright, good. So we do get to kind of win now, I believe. He I don't I don't think he can beat me. I don't think he can beat me. We are giving him his we are giving him a chance to finally brawl though, which is I guess fine. I didn't get a spider bomb, but we got oh, never mind, we got spider bomb. So I have um, eight cards in my deck. He's got five, and then he's got ten more. But the problem he's going to have is that every turn he's going to have to deal with um, a huge rush, 8-8 uh, rush minion, right? So 
Yeah, he has more cards than me, but I don't think he has enough quality cards this to beat me, be right? Unless he unless he gets like more brawls from his Elysia. Like it, it depends on I guess um He still should have an execute still, but he has to take eight, right? Hmm. You're just gonna take eight anyway? Okay. I'm pretty confident we can beat Control Warrior every game now. Bomb Warrior, I don't know if we can beat, guys. The the healing we have to put to a test against Bomb Warrior, but I'm pretty confident we can beat this Control Warrior deck most of the time. Like, as long as Dire Frenzy hits this thing. I'm going to have to play something here. Uh, I guess we just... I guess we just ooze him. Ah, he would have played Super Collider maybe. He almost can't play Super Collider because he can't just take damage willy nilly. Job's done. <laughs> Let's this place. What? He got that from Alicia. So he has two of these now. That's kind of like. It's kind of lame. I do have a good deadly shot probably here. Armor again, that sucks. All right. I don't know what to do. I mean, I should just kill a 1-1, one, one, right? If he... Yeah, I should probably play. Already in my turn. I should have... I definitely should have protected that. Whoops. Yeah, I'm just being a little bit too slow here. I mean, he does have more cards than me. He's, he's got 10 more cards after this, so... Put me in, man! It's my turn! Put me in, man! It's my turn! Uh, I guess Brawl was a reason to kill them both? I don't know. He has to put more cards in his deck, technically, I think. Well, he doesn't have to, because he, he can take a Fatigue. Maybe put the deck... Maybe put in the deck Tiger, he has Stealth. It does to Dynamatic still, unfortunately. I do need to make him use his second Brawl, right? Like, because I can't... I can't... I gotta be careful. He got execute. Damn, that's not good for me actually. There's another execute running around there somewhere. I guess we're going. Oh, he keeps getting armor. What the fuck? Still haven't seen Omega Devastator somehow. Does somehow this deck not play it? There's like no way you cut that card. He has two of them still, right? None shall pass. I'm gonna need more cards. Ah, 
how does he not play Omega Devastator? <laughs> what the Thanks hell? for making it to the end of the video, guys. If you want to see more of this deck, please click on the link to the left. If you want to see more decks in this series, click on the link to the right. And if you want to see the channel grow, please click that subscribe button in the middle. To watch me build the decks live, I'm on Twitch. Follow the link below. Thanks, guys, and I will see you next time.